Hi guys, welcome back to Empower In. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Caroline Porter Thomas. So I have a video request that's been requested by a lot of people and it's a video request about my NCLEX experience. And guys, it's really easy for me to remember this experience because it's actually a chapter in my book. And I wrote that chapter, like it was one of the first things that I wrote because I wanted to remember it exactly how it went. So um, the first thing that I want to share with you guys is um, when I graduated, I was not excited at all. You know, I know it's a big step to make it that far, but I really just wasn't excited because I was like, this means nothing. Graduating means nothing without my license. So I personally did not want to have a party. I didn't want to celebrate. I wanted to do everything after the NCLEX, after I passed. But anyways, um, I had a lot of family that came in for my graduation and ultimately we ended up having a party and I have to say that I did enjoy it so you know, it's it was pretty good. Right after that party, I got right into study mode. What I did, I noticed a lot of my classmates would take like, you know, little vacations just to kind of like relax. But for me, like, I just couldn't relax. I, you know, I went to a, a university, so my four years of education meant absolutely nothing if I did not pass this NCLEX examination. So I just couldn't relax. So day after the party, you know, I put my nose into the books. I scheduled my test as soon as I possibly could. I went to a new program, so it took them a little while to get our paper submitted because it was the first time they were doing it. So I had to wait one month before I could take the examination. If I could have taken it in two weeks, I would have done it in two weeks. I would have done it as soon as possible. Um, but anyways, I had to wait a month. So that's how long I took. Also, I was lucky enough to attend a program, a university that did supply us with two NCLEX reviews. We did a Kaplan review and we also did a Drexel review. Um, what I want you guys to understand is although I do think a review I think a review is necessary. Um, I wouldn't get hung up on which review you go to because you cannot rely solely on that review. You have to put in your own time and answer questions on your own because even the NCLEX review, even your college, is not enough. You have to do your own self-study studying. One thing that I didn't like about the reviews was that a lot of them offer testing take test taking strategies. And for me, like, I had made it this far. I made it through all of those hard science classes, anatomy, physiology, chemistry, biology. I made it through all my hard nursing classes. Like, for me personally, I didn't need to know about test taking strategies. I needed to know, you know, content. So, um, a lot of the things that I didn't like was they would say things like, you know, the week before an exam, you know, don't study, just relax. The night before an exam, take a bubble bath, relax. Like, for me, you know, I study up until the last second with everything. Like, literally, like, my, my instructors would be like, you know, put your books away. And that's when I knew I had studied enough. So for me to have people tell me how I should study, like, I knew that wasn't going to work with me, and so I didn't listen to them. I do know a few people that listened to them and it worked out, but I also know people that did listen to them and they wish they hadn't because they didn't pass the first time. So guys, listen, I just want you guys to listen to yourselves. You've made it this far. You're about to take the biggest test of your life. Do you think you should change your strategy? Maybe, but that has to come from yourself because you don't want to be mad at anybody else because you listened to their advice and then you didn't pass. So just do what's right for you. So I had a funny mantra that I would say to myself over and over and over, and that was, wow, you passed in 75 questions. You're so intelligent. And I would just say that to myself over and over and over. I would say it like physically, like literally, I would look in the mirror and say that. And um, I would also like hear it in my head. Like it just, it was like a mantra that kept going on and on and on in my head. And I think that that was, it was good because it made me like literally study so hard because I was like, if I'm going to pass in 75 questions, like I need to study hard. So that was, that was one fun thing that I did a lot. The bottom line is, um, from sun up to sundown, and I'm lying a little bit because I did sleep in until 10 a.m. every day that I studied because I like to sleep in. <laughs> Now, not as much because I wake up at 5 a.m. a lot for work, but I like that too. Um, but on the days that I studied, I would sleep in until 10 a.m. and then I would study probably until like 10 p.m. 
nonstop. The first part of the morning, I like for four hours, I would do questions on the computer. And guys, your NCLEX review books, most of them come with CD-ROMs and they have questions in those. And you really have to do those. Like you have to get, get familiarized, you like familiarize yourself with taking questions on the computer, reading them on the computer screen because it's a little bit different. Then when I would get tired from that, I would, you know, stretch a little bit, work out a little bit, listen to some positive things. And then I would do questions in the book. So that's what I did, questions in the computer and questions in the book, day in and day out for a month. On the days that we had the NCLEX reviews, but those reviews were quick, they were only a few days. So um, that's that was what I did all day, all night before the exams. Two days before the exam, I actually drove to the location and just to make sure that on the day of this exam, I wasn't you know freaking out because I couldn't find it. I thought that was a good thing and just to know where I was going, to know what things would look like. Um, it did ease my nerves a little bit and um, the, the place where I had to take the exam was about one hour away So um, even though it was a long drive like for me, it was worth it. So um, the day of the exam I um, got a 2 p.m. Testing time which I had no idea was possible But since I was in sleep-in mode and I like to wake up at 10 a.m. Every day I was like sweet So as soon as I saw that I was so excited. I scheduled myself for 2 p.m. I'm sure not everybody can do that, so if you have to schedule yourself for 8 a.m., don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Probably the earlier the better. On the day of the exam, I arrived about an hour early, and like I said, I study up until the last second. So I sat in my car for 30 minutes reviewing NCLEX questions from the book, though. And 30 minutes before the exam, I walked in, and I had no idea what to expect. I was expecting a crowded room with tons of nursing students, and we would all be crowded into this room and put in like, you know, there would be hundreds of students there with hundreds of computers and, you know, it was nothing like that. It was a quiet room. It was small. There was like eight people in this one little pod. And um, anyways, you know, I went there and they gave me a locker, which I only had, I think, my sweater with me. And so I put my sweater in the locker. And then I had to like go through, um, they check your license, they take a picture of you, and then... You, you know, that's pretty much your, like, that That was, you know, I was surprised. That's all, all there was. Then they give you the rules of the exam. So basically, I was given one dry erase board, and, you know, I was told I couldn't have anything, you know, with me at all. Of course, we didn't have anything. I, put, I was put everything in the locker. But one good thing is that I could have as many bathroom breaks as I wanted, which was great because, I mean, I don't know how you guys are, but when I'm nervous, I feel like I have to go to the bathroom a lot, so... That really um, eased my nerves. So hopefully you guys will have the same situation. So the way it worked was, um, and I'm not 100% sure they still do it like this. Keep in mind, I took the exam five years ago. But then here's how it worked. Basically, you were given three example questions. And those example questions, I believe, were to determine the level of complexity for your exam. So those three example questions would not count towards the total amount of questions. But um, you wanted to make sure you answer, you know, put you know, obviously like time and effort into them because they were really important. One thing that I did forget to mention was when I was driving to the exam, um, I got really nervous and all of a sudden thought, oh my gosh, I need like more energy. And so I pulled over to the closest gas station that I could find and I grabbed a Diet Mountain Dew, which I haven't, I hadn't drank since high school. I don't know why all of a sudden I felt like I needed it, but it was just like my nerves kicking in. And anyway, so I grabbed it and I downed it like literally in like two seconds and um, <laughs> it was funny. But basically like when I first, when I saw my first question, um, it, which was the example question, I think that the Diet Mountain Dew was kicking in majorly and I felt like my heart was beating out of my chest and my vision was like gone. I couldn't see the question, like everything was black. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I spent all of this money and I'm gonna pass out. like. I'm gonna pass out like I, I couldn't believe it and um anyways like I heard a voice inside my head that was like just breathe and I think I like forgot to breathe so I just like started breathing and like slowly like my vision came back and I was able to read the first question and so um yeah so I read the first question and you know the second question and the third question and then the exam started so the way that NCLEX works is that it's not the same amount of questions for everybody you can pass the question as you can pass the entire exam in as little as 75 questions 
or you may have to go up to the maximum, which was when I took it 275. It may still be the same. I was really dead set. Like, you know, my mantra was, wow, and you pass in 75 questions. You're so intelligent. And I was like dead set on that number. And um, anyways, I studied my butt off. Um, one thing that I will say though was when I saw the numbers like go up, like I was, you know, 73, 74, 75, like when I was at 75, I literally like could not even like push the next button because I was so nervous. I was like, what if the computer doesn't shut off? Because that's what it does. Like it just shuts off and it says you've completed the NCLEX examination. Like that's it. That's all it says. It goes all white and then that's it. So um, anyways, you know, thankfully for me, it did shut off in 75 questions. That's still, you don't know what that means. You don't know if it means pass or fail. So that's still like really nerve wracking. So you have three days where you're going to be like an absolute like panic, like, you know, did I pass? Did I fail? You know, I was like talking to everybody and you know, just crazy time, crazy time. <laughs> so when three days later, when I went to see whether I passed, um, I did do the traditional way, which was to pay the, I think it was like $10 and you went to a website and you just, you know, would see if it said pass or fail. And um, anyways, when I went to the website, I paid the $10 and, um, you know, in little itty bitty letters, it said pass. And, you know, I was absolutely elated and I was with my parents at the time because I didn't really want anybody else with me when I checked because just in case I fail, I'd probably cry a lot. So. Anyways, my parents were now with a bottle of champagne and a cake that said Caroline Porter RNBSN. So it was really special. Looking back, um, I would definitely not get too hung up on um, the 75 questions because it doesn't matter. Nobody ever asked me how many questions it took me to pass the NCLEX examination besides my classmates. Um, I wouldn't even, if you have to take it again, it's not a big deal. Like, Pass is pass, and it doesn't matter how many times you have to take it or how many questions it takes, nobody really cares. I've been a nurse for five years, and I've been on multiple job interviews. Nobody has ever asked me that. Nobody's ever asked me how many times it took me to pass the boards. Nobody's ever asked me how many questions. So guys, listen, I wouldn't, even though my mantra was, wow, you passed in 75 questions, I think I would change that because it added a lot of stress to me. It wasn't necessary. Like, it's it's not, it's not... That's not your goal. Your goal isn't to pass in 75 questions. And so your goal is just to, to do the best you can and to go in there and you know, you have, I think it's like six hours to take it and just your goal is to just focus on every single question and not the number. Um, and um, another thing that I would just like to reinforce is to just remember to do what works for you. Don't change your strategy. If you have a testing strategy that has been working for you, if you never study the night before an exam and you take a bubble bath and that's what you've been doing the entire time, then do that. But if you study up until the last second like me because you're a nervous wreck, then do that like because that's worked for you. But just listen to yourself. You know what's right. And um, anyways, good luck on your tests. Like, you know, do the best you can and, you know, when you eventually do pass, then welcome to the nursing field it is an awesome field and you'll be super excited that you did it. I love you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.